Nationwide manhunt tonight for two killers who simply walked out of a prison in Florida. Both were sentenced to life behind bars until a clever stunt set them free. ABC's Justice Department correspondent Pierre Thomas shows us how they escaped in plain sight. We've seen daring prisoner escapes like this one in Arkansas, where an inmate jumps through a tiny jailhouse window and dashes away. But tonight, U.S. Marshals and Florida State Police are hunting for these two murderers who escaped in a unique, clever fashion. In 1998, Joseph Jenkins killed a father of six children in Orlando. Charles Walker fatally shot a 23-year-old man in Orange County a year later. They should be serving life sentences, but they walked out of this Florida prison free because someone tricked corrections officials. Someone filed these fake documents with a Florida court clerk who then sent the paperwork ordering the state corrections department to release the inmates. The documents look like the real thing, with a judge's signature cut and pasted from a real court order. The alleged forged signature is that of Chief Judge Belvin Perry, who oversaw the Casey Anthony missing child case. Pierre, I've never seen anything like this. You have to give them uh, an A for being uh, imaginative and uh, effective. The alleged forgeries may reveal a gaping hole in the nation's judicial system, where fake papers could result in a get-out-of-jail card for violent offenders. Jenkins has been on the run for 20 days since his release way back on September 27th, and Walker has had a head start since October 8th, more than a week ago. People are scared to death. They could be anywhere, but, uh, you know, they had to have somebody to help them. Did the inmates have help from someone on the inside? And are there other dangerous criminals out there released with fake court orders? Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington.